Yo bar, what's up and what's happening? The other day I made a video which was called Why Diets Are So Fucking Confusing. And basically in that video, we touch on sugars or carbohydrate and where sugars come from. We touched on the ketogenic diet a little bit and then we also looked at exercise and how those things affect your weight. Now the title of that video actually got me thinking, why are diets so fucking confusing? And some of the reason I believe why diets are confusing is because of people on social media. Now, I get it, I'm someone who is on social media, but people who are on social media who aren't necessarily giving out the correct information, although it always comes from a good place, I believe, it is sometimes incorrect and is not actually going to help you in the long run. So when we're looking at people on social media, I look at people such as James Smith. James Smith is a fitness YouTuber. He used to be a personal trainer. He's also released a few books. And in general, most of the content that he releases is really great. Now, the people who are on social media who create content which is around diet and around exercise, most of the time, these big YouTubers are completely correct, okay? They have a good understanding or basic understanding of things such as weight loss and also how to do exercise more what mindset you need to be in when you're doing exercise. Now, James Smith has released a few videos on his YouTube channel, which basically talk about calories in versus calories out. And the fact that if you eat or consume less calories, you are therefore going to lose weight because your overall energy expenditure will help you to lose weight. And to some degree, that is true. What James is referring to is your basal metabolic rate. And he has touched on that before. Your basal metabolic rate is basically the amount of calories that your body burns per day. But here's the big underlying problem with that statement. The big underlying problem is, is that if you undercut your calories or you cut your calories down too low and you cut them beneath your BMR, your body will basically go into starvation mode and your body will start to burn up other things like muscle tissue instead of using body fat. So the problem I have with this is, is that the information is incorrect and it is slightly outdated. It isn't as easy as calories in versus calories out. If it was that easy, then that message on its own is actually quite easy to follow. And most people could probably stick to that. Less calories in, more calories out, therefore that equals weight loss but it just isn't quite that simple. The reason it's not that simple is because you have energy systems, such as your metabolism, and you also have hormones. And your energy systems and your hormones are there to govern how much energy you consume and how much energy you expend, okay? If you don't take those things into account, then it's actually quite hard to be able to get the body to lose weight. And I'll give you an example. A great example and what I find with a few of my clients when I'm trying to help them to either lose weight or reverse their diabetes is that there are two things that I try to get them to consider. The first thing is, is that if they've been consuming a pretty poor diet or a diet with lots of refined sugars in um, and refined foods such as junk food and things of that nature, they tend to have a tolerance to their own insulin, which is what we call insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is actually quite a uh, big hormonal imbalance. And basically insulin resistance is where the body isn't reading its own insulin anymore. Now this doesn't necessarily have to be people who have got type two diabetes. This can be people who are obese or clinically obese, um, or people who have got too much weight on their abdomen. And what that basically means is that their visceral fat, the organ fat in their body is actually too high. And therefore the likelihood of them having insulin resistance is also quite high as well. So insulin resistance is one of the first things that you need to consider when you are trying to address your weight loss. The other thing is as well as when you look at energy systems such as your metabolism. So your metabolism is there to govern the amount of energy your body burns per day just by being you. So thinking, moving around, uh, eating, breathing, sleeping, all of those things take energy and that is all governed by what we call the basal metabolic rate, the BMR. So your basal metabolic rate is there to uh, control the amount of calories 
going out of you and also it needs to govern how many calories that you need per day and there are certain there are certain hormones that your body releases so that you feel hungry and there are certain hormones that your body um, releases to stop you from eating now when you're looking at things such as the bmr your basal metabolic rate what i tell my clients is you must make sure that you don't undercut your bmr okay so your bmr your basal metabolic rate let's say that it expends x amount of calories per day but you undercut that by less so you're having less calories per day than what your bmr your basal metabolic rate governs Therefore, what will happen is, is that your body is actually going to start to shut down and preserve the fuel that it does have, which is what we call body fat. So fuel reserve or body fat is less likely to be used when you're undercutting your calories too low. And how that happens is, is that let's say that you've got a basal metabolic rate of um, a certain amount of energy expenditure per day. Let's just say that that number is 2000 calories just plucking a number out of the sky. Let's say that your basal metabolic rate is 2000 calories per day. Then if I lower the amount of calories that I have in, what happens is to the metabolism is it burns lower. So rather than trying to lose weight where we need a higher burning metabolism to be able to help us to lose weight, we force it to lower because we're eating too little calories or too little energy. So what you need to be really careful of is, is that by undercutting your calories too low or too quickly will actually drop your metabolism, which will force your body to not lose weight and force your body not to burn um, fuel the way that you want it to be burned, which is body fat. It's actually much more likely to start breaking down muscle tissue um, and turning the muscle tissue, which are basically amino acids, back into uh, glucose which is a form of sugar so basically if you starve yourself too much your body will start to use its own muscle as energy fuel which is not what you want at all you want to be able to lose weight ideally through body fat and also probably some visceral fat as well so the way that you need to do that is you need to drop your energy intake over time and that you need to make sure that you're kind of keeping a record of how much calories you're taking in per day and whether that's meeting the requirements that you need. Now, the requirements that you need are things such as your BMR, as I've said before, so your basal metabolic rate, but then you've got other things as well. So you've got social and work activities. They're really important to consider. And then on top of that, you've also got um, your exercise and things of that nature. So the two things that you need to consider are that if you're someone who's carrying too much weight, there could be a possibility that you're insulin resistant. And that will mean that the insulin, the hormone which governs all your macronutrients, which are fats, proteins, and carbohydrates, isn't working as well because your body isn't picking up on the hormone. It's just not picking up on that signal very well. The other thing, the second thing that you need to consider is that your BMR, your basal metabolic rate, governs how much energy you spend per day just by being you. So if you undercut your calories too low, so if you undercut your calories super, super low, your body isn't going to be able to find that energy from the food intake that you're taking in. Therefore, it will start to burn other things. And quite often, that tends to be things such as muscle tissue. It's the Yo Bossy Weeze.